Alright guys, welcome back. We've got in the uh, new event quest, we've got the 4 star challenge. So here are all the bosses for the 4 star challenge. Now, if you don't have a 4 star roster that can handle the cavalier bosses, it's probably not worth it to spend the items. But uh, on my main account, I've got quite the amount of 4 stars from because uh, the accounts years old and four stars used to be uh the only thing that uh, could rank up to max there were no five or six stars so there i th was going to bring in um <laughs> archangel but i messed up but then uh, uh void comes in to uh i think take care of the rest here i didn't want to have to um i had to be pr i don't have a human torch to take it on take on the sasquatch and they need something that can deal with the healing at the end so it was either going to be something like archangel that can throw the neurotoxins on or let just uh, void go to work so the only thing here is just to play around his um uh like the wrath at the that he gets every so often and then i'll just try to i think just uh um bait is heavy when he does that i'll just kind of uh Avoid it. So you'll see here it goes orange, and then I think after here he's going to get his, yeah, the wrath. So there I can, I'll just let him do his heavy attack, and we will give it an extra second for that unstoppable on the heavy to go and then attack back in. And there is definitely some strategy in terms of like taking the even with the easy pass that they've set up. Um, just making sure that you have um, champions that can uh, take down the path as well as someone for the boss and in some cases some minis or like certain uh, champions that might not have the global nodes or the nodes for the path but uh, you know there's like a Mephisto on one path that you can't avoid so uh, you gotta have someone for that as well. So there we go, Void makes uh, nice work of this Sasquatch. So even if you just need to do it normally, if you have uh, a Void, you can take down the Cavalier uh, bosses. And you can see this was my initial run. So here's Mixmaster, Spry, uh, uh, Red Hulk. And here I tried to go in with uh, Void first. And I think I messed up with Void here. And then um, I think we finish him off with... Uh, Cap Infinity War. I kind of used the same group of guys for the most part, uh, except there were definitely some chapters that you'll see have, uh, you know, you need to, either it's a cosmic path or uh, the mutant, uh, you know, like a uh, bleed immune path. So definitely some uh, interesting uh, combinations of champs, but uh, here, this was also a slow play because you got to work around the uh, bane. So, at least here I'm able to heal back a little bit with willpower in between. I don't know if I'll be able to do the same. Uh, I don't have the same group of champs on my junior account, so I will be uh, using this as reference for that as well if I want to go for that. Uh, you know, at 10% of the T5CC. I had to speed these ones up because they're just they're long fights unless I, I didn't really want to do individual videos for each boss fight so here we bring in uh, Cap in Affinity War to finish it off and he put in some great work um, and for yeah uh, you'll see there's one path where I literally just put a uh, synergy team all around uh, Cap Infinity War for the diss track path and it was hilarious he just tore right through it Oh, so I didn't even take it out with him, but here we're going to be bringing to finish it. Sunspot. Okay. Sunspot's great because even as a four star, if they have... Uh, now, it doesn't work here, but if you are going to do just the regular path, Sunspot can help out because he still takes... If you have an incinerate on the opponent, he still takes uh, 
zero damage on the parries. So that helps out a lot. And uh, get great burst damage on his specials. Especially the special two. All right, so the Red Hulk is down. Now, I think it was this next chapter is the diss track path, and you can see we had Void, Mr. Fantastic, Classic Hulk, <laughs> um, uh, Cap Infinity War, uh, and we just had a whole team just built around uh, Cap Infinity War, <laughs> and he tore through the entire path, uh, basically putting debuffs guaranteed on every parry, and plus the power stings from... Uh, I think we even threw Doc Ock in there as a four star just with like a rank two or three just to pair with Mr. Fantastic. And uh, I did kind of, I think I messed up early on with uh, Cap Infinity War here. Like it, it was working just fine. Just, you know, I'm not gonna, if I screw up, I just brought in, a, I think we screwed up and brought in Void to finish it off. Slow play it, um, nothing too exciting. Because um, he's not even going to attack into you when he uh, throws his special there. I messed up. But uh, we just go back in with Void. And again, still getting the, the extra power stings from that Mr. Fantastic Dog Ox energy for science and tech champs. So, uh, pretty solid. But uh, yeah, Void goes in and does the work. I'm not going to attack in. Normally you would attack in while he's uh, channeling, but instead, uh, while well, he's got that, uh, you know, unstoppable there, I don't want to get countered. So again, it's a little bit of a slow play, but it works. So you guys can watch the rest of this one, and I'll meet you at the next one. So Void finished off um, Professor X. Now we've got a, a Maestro. So a little uh, nostalgia here. And of course, <laughs> I was going to bring in Archangel. I think would have done pretty well, except I screwed up right at the beginning. Um, and uh, getting as much damage as uh, I can. He does have um, uh, Rich Get Rich Get Richer. So he, and he has a thing that gives him an armor up. So at some point, he starts gaining a lot of. Uh, power which kind of works to your advantage so you don't have to work on those special ones so much you can work on the uh, special twos instead which is a little easier like that uh, i just screwed up at the beginning so there's <laughs> there wasn't any room for for errors and uh once i have to start uh intercepting <laughs> it's not gonna work out too well here but it's still got like most of them down like almost half of them down with uh, archangel so that works out pretty well And then I think we just go through uh, whoever we had on the team here. We had to bring a team of um, that could handle uh, like biohazard that uh, weren't robots. I think. But it worked out pretty well with uh, Magneto and Iceman and. Uh, Magneto, Iceman, and um, Colossus. So 
drop that special three, get a bunch of bleeds on him. I think here he just ended up getting, I, th I think he got too much power there <laughs> and got stuck and just said, okay, screw it, just go in and, you know, watch his nice special three animation while he beats the crap out of you. And here I just taken Wolverine. <laughs> I haven't used him in forever, and it was nice to see that I could still uh, I could still evade, uh, um, well at least the the third part of Meister's special one. But uh, yeah, so you can uh, again, it's uh, anyone anyone can take this fight. It's not. It, I don't think it's anything uh, too special. It's just uh, you know some of it, some of it's just getting through the path, and then uh, you know. Just remembering how uh, Maestro's animations work, and then uh, go in and have some fun. So you can watch the rest of this fight, and I'll see you for the next one. Okay, next we have this Immortal Hulk, and uh, I wasn't sure, uh, I didn't really research it too much, I just knew that um, that it, the special one was pretty easy to uh, evade, just have to wait for that like second swipe and then go back in, um, and then I kind of got used to that heavy at a certain point, but uh, you know, I just think, um, you know, someone with some damage over time does a lot uh, better, I think... Um, I just started with Cap Infinity War for this one, and it's just a uh, it's just a slow play. He just doesn't get a you know a lot of damage in, and I think eventually I go for like you know I'll speed this fight up uh, as much as I can, um, and I think eventually I go in with uh, Gwenpool, and uh, you know she made uh, I think she got through it a lot uh, faster, but uh, nothing nothing crazy here. Um, just kind of get used to the animations, and then uh, it's pretty standard. So it's going to take a, it's a long time, but uh, it, it works pretty well. So there's there's not much, uh, nothing too special going on here. So um, again, I'll speed it up, and I'll see you for the next one.
at last we've got this immortal abomination and you basically just need you need poison immune champs that are not robots here i think that's and um so you uh i brought in whoever i had in terms of um especially just to get through the whole path i had uh, hyperion medusa and captain marvel well, captain marvel movies only at rank four and here i didn't really know what i was getting myself into and i screw up the uh evade on the special one and then i think uh this uh, fight with um, Hyperion, I kind of get used to the spacing um, before I screw up, and then uh, Medusa comes in, I think, to finish the uh, finish the fight. But uh, again, it, it's just a lot of baiting his um, special one over and over. I didn't even look at what the special two animation was. I wasn't interested in it, and just said, "Okay, fine. If I can bait this special one over and over again, then I'll be fine." Um, also, he keeps applying a, um, a petrify and a weakness to you, when, like a weakness, I think, when you hit into his block. Or, yeah, so you, you, um, if you have willpower, you can actually end up just healing up throughout most of the fight. So, again, um, not a very uh, scary bosses. Um, so if you have, um, you know, a four-star team that you can put together that can get through the pass for each of these then uh, the bosses aren't uh, that bad and you can get yourself 10% uh, of a t5cc so it's not it's not it's not terrible um, I might have used a couple uh, like potions here and there to heal up some guys but I think for the most part um, it was pretty straightforward um, but uh, yeah, who did you use to get through this one? Are you going to do it? Uh, let me know. And uh, um, good luck to you guys with the new uh, monthly event quest. I'll try and keep uh, posting the new content as it comes out. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it, and we'll see you next time.